currently in Chicago. I just took a flight from Columbia, South Carolina. And I have one more flight. Yeah. yeah, two more flights. I have a flight from Chicago to San Francisco. And then another flight from um, San Francisco to Australia. So, I'll probably get to Australia about, I think, like 9 a.m. their time. And I basically skip all of January 2nd. So, yeah, because it's time zone and different days and stuff. So, yeah. Okay, so I wanted to kind of start off by saying, like, this is kind of my journey or anything through study abroad. I've been abroad a couple times, just, like, for, like, two weeks or something, like, on school trips. And they always say, like, get a journal or like write it down or something like that and I just haven't stuck to it so I decided you know it's easier to video record than to necessarily write everything down <laughs> and I can actually visually see and like remember everything that I did so I started like when I just put it up in like front of YouTube that way like my family and friends can see it too if they wanted to kind of like how I've been going so far so I am studying abroad currently in Sydney, Australia at UNSW. Um, right now it's in the J term, so the summer term here. So there's not many students on campus unless it's like international students because a lot of um, the students here are still like on summer break, what they call it, like holiday. But it's been really fun to kind of like explore the city a little bit. Um, we live about like 30 minute walk from the beach really close like we'll go there or like I'll run there or something like that you know for exercise but another thing is that like from the class that I'm taking because I'm taking like an environmental class of like the Sydney like environment and everything in specific so like they say that it's like very like flat and I going to like the city I can kind of see it but like going to all around campus or anything hills hills stairs whatever you name it they got it like just like a lot more than what I prepared to going to school in DC like I'm used to hills but like I don't think it even those hills prepare me for these hills they have here because it's a lot more all the time like the hills that they just like keep on coming or then it's like hills and then stairs and then another hill crazy but overall it's been amazing going with the program so we've done multiple stuff and it's been like um went to the zoo we went on a dinner cruise we went um we went out like to Coogee beach and i've actually like been there like a couple times and we like go there like after class or something like that um we've also went to other places like just around like um to eat or something like that we'll go and like kind of enjoy that um within our free time it depends on like where our program takes us and stuff like that um we've had like orientation as well like with the class we've had orientation like with my program and everything like that so just kind of like getting us like a head start on the program we use like public transportation there's people who have Cars, well, like, mostly like in the city, like, within our program, of course, because we came from the U.S. But um, people who, like, do have cars and stuff like that, like, it's definitely, like, used. But, like, we use public transportation. Apparently, like, that's, like, more of, like, a newer thing, like, the light rail and stuff like that. But, like, I love it. Um, One thing, though, is, like, I learned about because I could watch some, like, YouTube videos or whatever, like, before I came. But, like, the light rail stops. It's, like, the train, basically, like, above ground. But the light rail stops the bus doesn't so like you kind of have to be like aware of where your stop is at so like if it's the next stop and you're like looking at google maps you know it's like it's the next stop like you have to press stop for the bus to stop otherwise like it'll go right past your stop or there's somebody at your bus stop like kind of like waving it down stuff like that and like the bus will like stop for them like pick them up but otherwise like it's going <laughs> not stopping um i guess some like other things i haven't really like like not been able to understand people 
really like I know like they have slang so like I've noticed like people say like how are you going or like made or something like that but I mean that kind of translates to like how are you or just like mates mates so um it hasn't been anything where I feel like I've had a conversation with anybody and like I'm just like well like I have no idea what you're talking about it hasn't been like anything like that or whatever um but yeah it's been fun I know like Oh, well, like the schooling wise, I think it's like a little bit different because their system's different than like the American system. So like, even like during the January term, like we only take like one class, but like, I mean, at least for my program, I don't know if there's other people taking like two classes or something like that, like right now, but so it'll be lecture, which is like a whole bunch of people and then tutorial, which is like 20, 25 people. But like for my January term, it's like 39 people in my lecture and the tutorial is only 16 people in my tutorial but like for term one which is like February through mid-May which is like whenever I leave it's like a thousand people in my lecture and then like 20 25 people in my tutorial so like a lecture is like the big class a teacher teaches everything and stuff like that and then tutorial is more of like a discussion based like kind of going along with what the lecture said but you do more like activities group projects type of stuff and like that's kind of where most of like your homework is assigned from like what I've learned I've only been here for like two weeks but I'm trying to like keep up with like my first impressions and everything of like what I have noticed so far like while being here and kind of like seeing like how it'll change but um yeah overall I've really enjoyed it oh but the I think my biggest issue right now and hopefully by the end I'll learn it but it's like saving money because like before it was like okay well like yeah I need a new pillow or I needed um like little things I can there like I need a new towel or I needed like a blanket or something like that or like hangers so it was like kind of like the moving in type of like payment and stuff like that you know of course trying to like see like what is the cheapest like what I really need necessarily than just like buying to buy like bigger stuff but um because the currency there's a conversion so like one US dollar is a dollar 45 here we're constantly like doing the math and like it's bad because we'll be like oh like that's only like that's normally like ten dollars but now it's only like eight dollars and 55 cents here so like that's like we save money so it seems like everything's on sale so like when we soon like buy more when we got it i could be like no i don't need it but also it's like the newness of it all because it's like well i haven't been there i could try that or i could do this or i could do that and stuff like that so it's like i kind of like let myself spend more when i know i should like save up for the five months that i'm gonna be here uh, yeah but we have been to um some like clubs or anything like just like around but like I feel like that one we're like smart with because it's like um we'll get it go to the ones that are like free or something like that to get in before a certain time and then like it's like cheap or whatever once you get there but it's like more so like just to like meet people that are like, around and stuff like that and just to see like uh, who all is like in the area and that's been really fun because a lot of people do come out like to the club because like they have like a big like nightlife around here and stuff like that so I've met like a lot of people through that I actually like met people that were on my flight when I came here because I had to stop in San Francisco to Sydney and I met them and it was crazy and then they introduced me to like all their friends so like it's been like really fun experience like just like meeting people and stuff like that like through that way um I don't think I this is, I think those like my biggest like impressions. Um but I have some clips and everything that I've been taking like as I've been going. So I hope to like include that so you guys can get like a little like peek about how it's been and like kind of like a little snippet of how my experience has been. Hopefully I can do this like every two weeks. I'm not really the best at like being consistent but um yeah we're gonna see how it goes <laughs>